Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to my channel. So uh, today, just for a change, I thought we'll just uh, go have a look at uh, uh, some of the most uh, popular uh, fragrances on Fragrantica. What Fragrantica, according to Fragrantica, look like, uh, which is one of the most popular uh, fragrances uh, website. So I was just browsing through this page just having a look at what are the most popular fragrances so you can filter it by different uh, criteria let's um, go with the most popular ones according to fragrantica i'm an, uh, like uh, this is only for uh, men's fragrances category we also have a unisex maybe later we'll have a look at uh, what unisex fragrances are really popular so the number one most popular is creed aventus i uh, there is not a it's not a surprise everyone probably already would have guessed it like but uh, i remember uh, testing it at one of the malls but I, like i i wasn't that impressed i don't know like it was a uh, during my initial stages of, of uh, this fragrance journey so i don't know maybe i'll give it a try again uh, but i'm i'm not anyway a big fan of uh, fresh citrus fragrances so I don't. I don't think I'll be. <laughs> I'll be. I don't. I don't ever think I'll be spending that much on a fragrance. Okay. The so second one is Ancre Noir. I see a lot of uh, positive feedback on this as well. Uh, this is a very popular fragrance, I believe, in the fragrance community. But uh, for some reason, uh, I don't know. I'm <laughs> something. Uh, some of the negative comments convinced me not to buy this. Maybe I'll give it a try because I usually go through Fragrantica comments and see what uh, people say about the fragrance before buying it. And I also like apart from the YouTube uh, YouTubers reviews. Um, I do this as well. Let's see. Maybe in the future. La Nuit de Lombe, yeah, I have this. is uh, absolutely worth the price and, and the uh, popularity. It's one of one of my one of the first one of the first few fragrances that I bought and I immediately fell in love with it. Like everything starting from the opening to the dry down, it's, it's a beautiful fragrance, and it's a, and I'd say I believe a very office. I like I sometimes wear it to office as well. So yeah, it's it's a nice fragrance. Savage, yeah, again, Savage is like a superstar in the men's fragrance uh, uh, category. Um, but I am starting to get bored of this Ambrox and I bought it. I have Sauvage, the smaller, I believe 40 ml or something like that. But like I'm starting to get bored of it. My Some of my colleagues wear Sauvage as well. So it's, uh, I don't know this, but uh, um, more than anything, this Ambroxan thing is, is kind of, uh, um, it's very boring. You have that in pretty much every second fragrance, every second blue fragrance is, so I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm losing uh, interest in Savage and all the blue fragrances because of that. But uh, it's a good fragrance, like nice uh, projection and everything. Mm, Terre de Hermes. That's my love. It is like become my. I I think like so far from the fragrances that I have bought. Only two fragrances, uh, two fresh fragrances have uh, impressed me a lot. One is Terre de Hermes and the other one is Bottega Veneta. And these are the only two fragrances I'll probably, I, I even consider these two, you know, like, it, like, like my signature fragrance, like whenever I feel like not wearing anything else, I probably would go for these two. Like and Tear de Hermes is such a beautiful fragrance. It's uh, it's a very addictive fragrance. You 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 may not like it when you spray it and then you smell it, but when you wear it and then uh, you, you get uh, um, you you get you get to smell every now and then uh, the the scent uh, uh, bubble or whatever. You you'll fall in love with it. It's a beautiful fragrance. 
club denui intense man i don't know this another uh, very very popular fragrance that gets a lot of love and hate as well i think this is a, a, a clone of aventus if i'm not wrong uh, I, but i have never tried that and aquari geo profumo what aquari geo profumo i had lots of expectations for this because of all the hype and the and and and, and the, you know the youtubers uh, almost uh, rated as the number one fragrance in pretty much every second category so when i bought it i had a huge expectations but i didn't uh, live up to my expectations so i had to like i sold it to someone on from facebook it just smells to me like you a uh, mix of uh, sea water and eucaly eucalyptus oil and that is uh, I, i don't know it didn't impress me much Diarome Intense. I think I got a sample of this. I don't have this perfume, but I have. A, I got a sample of this when I bought another fragrance. I believe I'm not sure if it's 2011 or like the re recent uh, Diarome Intense. I don't know, but I think I like it. There is something about this. There's something about that. Uh, about, there's something in that. I don't know what is it in that fragrance. Probably iris or something. um iris powdery earthy violet floral aromatic musk i don't know there's something very addictive in this fragrance as well is like i tried this uh, one day i wore this to office and uh, i'm not sure if it's dior um intense okay there's a 2007 one there's a 2011 one there's a dior um dear um oh. okay so i'm not sure if uh, the one that i have a sample of is dear om or dear om intense but it's a, it's a nice smell it's a nice scent uh, i don't have any complaints on this it's a beautiful scent and it's a, it's a, oh my god it's a really popular one i didn't know this okay so the next one comes eros versace eros so versace eros i am not sure if i uh, already mentioned this but like whenever i go to any latin clubs it's pretty much uh, this kind of reminds me of of latin clubs uh, because uh, i usually go to latin clubs when I'm, whenever i am like on on a business trip or somewhere um, i remember uh, I, i remember like i've been to dublin and vienna uh, i remember going to the night clubs there there is this beautiful club in dublin called uh, river bar and in vienna there is another one called dan zone so if you guys uh, know these clubs uh, leave a comment uh, and like as soon as i enter into the club this is the smell that i used to get there your such heroes i and i realized that only recently in the last few months when i like tested it oh my god it's like this nostalgic feeling it uh, immediately like kind of transported me to that i don't know it's it's a nice feeling you know the scent the, the, uh, it it kind of takes you to that location and the time and place it's amazing blue de chanel blue de chanel is uh, blue de chanel is a nice fragrance but um for some reason i uh, i didn't i mean it, it didn't give me the push to 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 buy it i don't know why there's something that i probably already had or something that that it's good but not good enough for me to buy it you know what i mean that that that's uh, what i'm trying to say and then the next is fahrenheit 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 or whatever it's the most disgusting fragrance that i've ever smelled in my life i don't know why i this i honestly don't understand why this is so popular i thought i would like it i wanted to like it but i tested it at the chemist warehouse and i bought it but I tried it for one or two days I remember but something so disgusting and annoying in this fragrance I I am not able to um 
tolerate at all it's uh, such a disgusting fragrance i don't i don't i don't understand the hype and the popularity behind this oh, no more comments prada lom prada lom again i have not paid enough attention to this fragrance because uh, i'm not a big fan of powdery fragrances you know what i mean but probably the only powdery fragrance that i like so far is diorom intense prada lom for that reason i didn't even bother to, like i i think i tried it was not that impressed it's like nah, not into prada i guess i'm not into prada oh aquari geo now aquari geo profumo is uh, i mean as i already mentioned it didn't impress me but this aquari geo is a superstar in my opinion and no wonder it it is i think i believe jeremy fragrance used to mention is one of the most uh, is the is the most sold men's fragrance of all time or something like that and no wonder it is because it has this beautiful mix of different notes so many different notes and i think the one that i get um very um, prominently is i believe the jasmine so this has got so many floral notes and i was like really uh, it was a pleasant surprise because i i got this sample as well from 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 a, from a mall and i this i didn't expect this at all i thought it would be like just another uh, you know generic blue fragrance but it's not the case this is much more than that it has this beautiful floral notes it has this marine note it's it's it has this citrus notes so look at the look at the number of notes that this one has i mean the jasmine uh, neroli and sea water sea notes what is this hyacinth violet rosemary rose freesia peach oak moss white musk oh this is a beautiful beautiful fragrance and i and i i think i i think i'll i'll be buying one very soon it's a beautiful fragrance and um, and it and it lasts also it's it like i don't know not that long but i at least 5 6 hours i think i was able to smell and that is more than what i expected from this um yeah it's a it's a beautiful fragrance i want it aquarigio no wonder is that popular versace porom never tried lemal i don't know because of the hype i never tried it although i have a lebo by Jean Paul Gaultier which is a nice I love the fragrance the only complaint that I have is the longevity is it's crap in there explorer yes explorer I I've tried I tested it and I liked it but there's something something um that hurt my nose probably I think it's it's a bit synthetic in its uh, um, composition but it's a beautiful fragrance the one for men i have never tried this uh, although there's been a lot of hype about this but i've never tried this versace pour om dylan blue i had this fragrance but again i got bored of it because of this this blue generic blue fragrances and i, I think i didn't get the longevity that i was expecting in this i sold it off to one of my colleagues ultra male never tried it Herod I tried Herod and it's a very it's a very good fragrance I love I think it has tobacco or something like that it, it's a beautiful fragrance I wanted to buy it or oh, it's a tobacco vanilla yeah so it's a tobacco vanilla fragrance it's a beautiful fragrance I wanted to buy it but uh, it was so expensive I changed my mind it's a beautiful fragrance though and bentley for men this i there's a lot of hype about this as well in the youtube community mm, but I, i i'm not getting samples of this i'm not even able to see this in any of the malls or anywhere so maybe i'll have to blind buy this hopefully yeah hopefully in the near future i'll do that blue de chanel again we discussed this is a parfum version like i, I don't think i'll I, i'll spend that much on a blue de chanel pure havan i've never tried this spice bomb i had spice bomb but uh i was missing something in that like 
I, I sold it in order to buy Spice Bomb Extreme. I have Spice Bomb Extreme uh, now and I like it a lot. Although Spice Bomb is good as well. Cool Water is like a superstar. I have Cool Water, I mean, like uh, day to day, like anywhere, uh, grocery shopping or, you know, uh, that kind of uh, activities I generally wear this. Uh, why? I think I tried why, but it didn't impress me much. I don't know, because there's lots of other, I don't know, it, it wasn't, there's nothing unique about this. One million is like my colleague's uh, signature scent, and because of all the hype, I, like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't even bother uh, buying it these days because it's so popular. It's not unique at all. Okay, so that's the male fragrances. Let's check out the unisex fragrances. Baccarat Rouge. Yeah, Baccarat Rouge is, um, is a huge, hugely popular uh, fragrance in even on Facebook uh, fragrance communities like there's something about this that 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 people love it i don't know why i i don't think i tried this i don't remember if i tried this uh, uh, in mecca once and i i need to because i'm it was so expensive i like i think the shock kind of like erase the scent from my memory uh, I, I don't think i'll i'll be buying it like anytime in the near future or the future tobacco vanilla is my one of my favorite scents again i tested it at uh, david jones here in uh, cbd and i fell in love with it and i got uh, another perfume a clone of tobacco vanilla something loxitan demeter i kind of like layer it uh, lay these two scents to bring out the tobacco vanilla effect and because I like tobacco vanilla, I also ordered Shergui online. I haven't received it. I, I'll be getting it tomorrow. I'll do another uh, reaction unboxing video of that. So these two, Shergui, I, I'm still yet to uh, check how it is. And Leighton, what is this? Memoir Dune Odeur. Hmm. This is something new, man. And is that popular? What do not let's have a look? It's, it's a new fragrance, Alberto Moreas. I I know Alberto Moreas, Jeremy Fragrance guy, right? Aqua DJ Profumo, Tomnoch, a camo melon, bitter almond, bitter almond, will know some musk, Indian jasmine, and jasmine. Why is there a return on jasmine there? Base notes are sandalwood seed. Oh my god, the notes sound yummy. Look at the look at the description. Everything comes from my obsession with sense. Whose whose uh, obsession is this? Singer, songwriter, and actor Harry Styles. Leads the cast of the family, which includes an eclectic universal mix of talents and models. Who? I think I need another video to go through this whole thing. But this is an eye opener, man. I never even heard of these uh, fragrances. All the other fragrances that I've discussed, pretty much uh, I've heard of at least, but this one. Hmm. Let's see what the. Where is this? And the longevity is not that good either. Okay, it says it leans more feminine. I want to love this so badly, but unfortunately, the longevity is just atrocious. Charlie White, quite unisex. Smells like white tea, and what's white tea? Chamomile. 
first case by Anna Vakitova is more about chamomile. Okay, so looks like the longevity is not that good, but it's uh, surprising that this is so popular. Layton, Layton, I tested it at David Jones a few months back. I found it to be way too sweet, way too sweet. And I don't understand the hype about it. Maybe, maybe I'll have to try it and then check the dry down and the performance and everything. It, I understand why like people like it. It's it's a very sweet fragrance, but I like I, I for some reason I found it to be a bit too sweet. Oud would I I don't remember. I think I tested it at David Jones a few months back when I started off with my fragrance journey, but uh, it didn't impress me much. Ombre leather again. I'm not a big fan of leather. I, I found it. Uh, I didn't I didn't like ombre leather much. I wanted to like it, but I didn't like it. By the fireplace, I've never tried this. Lost Cherry, okay, Tom Ford, no, never tried this. CK1, ah, CK1 is like everywhere, man, in chemist warehouses. No wonder it's, uh, so, uh, but I didn't know this was like a unisex scent. Okay, Cedrat Boise. This one, I think I should have ordered Cedrat Boise instead of Aoud Lemon Mint. I made a big mistake. I bought Aoud Lemon Mint by... Mm, and said I didn't like it at all. It reminded me of this Dior Sauvage and all those Ambroxan fragrances. I, I believe that has Ambroxan in it. There's no oud in it. There's no, I don't know, there's some coriander in it, which is disgusting. For some reason, it, it kept bothering me. And I swapped it with a rather a guy on Facebook uh, with uh, Wind Wood. And that is an, again, that is again another... Uh, what do you call that? There's some, uh, there's some, there's this violet uh, in that in that uh, fragrance, which I believe I'm not a big fan of violet leaf or violet. It keeps bothering me for some reason. It messing with my mind. Uh, it's uh, something that I don't like, I guess. Grand Soir, Grand Soir, yee, Grand Soir, I've heard a lot. Grand Soir and Baccarat Rouge, like uh, two of the most popular uh, Maison Francisco Sean uh, fragrances, I guess. But I've never tried Baccarat Rouge, Extraight, yeah, Extraight, Extraight de Parfum, yeah. I believe this one is more popular than this one. I'm not sure if, uh, but if this is like, um, according to the order is like sorted or what, I don't know, but in the fragrance community Facebook pages, Pakara Rouge 540 is like much more popular than Balda Africa. I'm yet to try. I know, but I heard by by Redo fragrances are not very long lasting. But Balda Africa is something I want to try. Black Afghano, yes, I have that. It's a, mm, mm, that's a nice, nice fragrance. <laughs> And it's a very long lasting fragrance as well. It's a dark, nice, and uh, there's a beautiful fragrance. Very apt for the winter time. And intense cafe, I'm yet to try. I like coffee, but I don't think if I want to smell like coffee. For that reason, I haven't ordered that yet. Joe Malone, London. Mm. I see. Well, is that popular, is it? Oh, Jardin Solennel. Oh, Jardin perfumes. I don't know, man. They, I, like, I tested these, some of these, like, Oh, Jardin, um, Après la Moussa. That's something that I really like. The, uh, but, but it's not, uh, even, even when I tested it, it didn't last for even an hour at the mall. So, I didn't want to buy it. Tuscan leather, not a big fan of leather fragrances. I don't think uh, I like it. Noir de Noir, wow, Noir de Noir is like, it's another level, man, Noir de Noir. It's a beautiful fragrance, but it, it uh, smelled a bit feminine to me. That's the reason. And, and then it's expensive as well. So I, I don't think, it's a beautiful fragrance though, Noir de Noir. Mm, these I've never tried. Mm, Le du Desert Marocain, I've heard a lot. Uh, Black Phantom, I've heard a lot as well. Wood for Greatness, as well, I've heard a lot. Uh, maybe next year, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to buy some of these expensive fragrances. But that's it for this year. I mean, I mean, that's it for now.
yeah let me know guys if uh, any of your favorite fragrances is there in the in the list of most popular uh, fragrances uh, on fragrantica leave a comment uh, yeah thanks a lot bye bye